how do I scale a mesh before doing a 3D print? Yeah, so I've had a bunch of questions come up in some of my previous mesh videos on how do you correctly scale this up or down? The first thing you need to do is just measure um, a very clear part of your design. So I have this file from Thingiverse. It is an STL mesh, and I'm going to try to measure maybe one side of it. Uh, it could be a hole that's easily measured. It could be an edge. Whatever you can measure easily, find that value, and then we want to scale the whole part accordingly. So this is a thousand millimeters or, you know, a thousand twelve point four four five nine. And let's say that this edge is supposed to be 300. That's what I know, the known value. So the calculation is to take your desired result and divide it by your current result. 300 divided by 1012.459 this is my scale factor. I want to scale the entire part by 0.296 and have it scale down uniformly across this design and then 3D print. So next we're going to find under modify, we're going to go to scale mesh, we're going to do this entire body. It's going to be a uniform and we're going to use that value, the 0.296. You can see it scales the entire thing down and now I'm ready to 3D print this because it's all correct. But we can, of course, want to double check and measure, make sure this value is what I want it to be. It's 300. Perfect. Now, another question came up in the, the same video was how do you scale in one direction? So go back to modify, find your scale mesh and then select the body, go to non-uniform, and then now you can scale along uh, a direction, right? So you can scale according to the X, it's gonna elongate it, and we can actually scale in different directions with different values. So you can see the dialogue here allows us to put in values for each direction. This does get kind of difficult to get it precisely to what you want, but if you do need to elongate your part, you can do this with this scale mesh and do it along a direction. Hope this helps. I'll see you guys in the next video.